I'm Hyla, welcome to Hyla Cooking. So you may or may not know that February is National Grapefruit Month and that the Rio Star variety of grapefruit is also the state fruit of Texas. And they grow down in the Rio Grande Valley and they're bright red and they're really sweet. And so Texas Sweet, which is a grower down there, sent me a box of free grapefruits. So I was gonna come up with some recipes and I came up with this really awesome pink grapefruit pie that's pink because it also happens to be Valentine's today, but it's also kind of tart and bittersweet in case your heart's filled with sadness. Hmm. Okay, so I've got a homemade pie crust here. You can check out my video on that, and I'll, I'll you know, link to it and stuff. Um, but Or you could just buy one. You need a deep dish pie pan. And first off, I'm gonna beat these eggs. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna pre-bake my pie crust a little bit so that it doesn't get soggy. It stays a little crisper. So what I'm gonna do for that is poke some holes in it with a fork and this is going to prevent it from like bubbling up and you can use this trick with any kind of um, pie crust if you ever are making like a, an icebox pie that doesn't that the filling doesn't get cooked you'll need to pre-bake it the crust like this so poke a bunch of holes in it so it doesn't puff up and then i'm going to brush it with just a little bit of the egg to keep it from absorbing all the filling custard, the custard filling while it bakes, and that'll keep it from getting soggy. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pop this in the oven for like five minutes while we make the rest of the filling. Okay, so while the crust is pre-baking, we're gonna get our filling together. So I've got my eggs there, and that's fine. And I've got the grapefruit, I'm just gonna not fall over. Just gonna zest the grapefruit. And I don't know, probably the whole thing. I'm gonna need about two teaspoons of zest. So and with grapefruit, well with any citrus, it's really important when you're zesting it not to get, you just want the part that's colored, not the white part underneath that. So if you start seeing it look pale like that, stop, because that's where all the bitterness really is. Also happens to be where a lot of the nutrients are, but this is pie, it's not supposed to be healthy. So, and just to make sure that we get citrusy flavor. I'm also going to do a little bit of lemon. And of course I gave both of these a rinse and a wipe before I'm zesting them because citrus fruits are usually waxed I think. So ooh, that's probably enough. I guess that lemon was tired of me. Okay cool. So give that a little stir to get the zest all. Make sure you don't end up with clumps of zest later on. This is why my countertop's totally fucked up because I do this all the time. Cool. And we're gonna need some of the grapefruit juice. You can see how beautiful and pink that is. It totally matches my dress. It's very adorable. And we'll probably need the juice of this whole thing. These are really juicy though. So that's nice. And I want to keep the pulp because I like it when things are a little rustic. But obviously I don't want to keep the seeds. So rather than running it through a strainer, which would make me lose all my pulp. I'm just gonna use the strainer that God gave me and throw these things out on the counter. Now here's what's cool. So I based this off of a buttermilk pie recipe, which obviously calls for buttermilk. Um, instead of using buttermilk though, I've just got some regular milk here. I'm gonna pour in my grapefruit juice and you're gonna see it curdle right before your very eyes as if I were making cottage cheese. So it's gonna be pretty cool. And I use the same, kind of the same trick uh, in the buttermilk biscuits episode to make like some kind of shortcut buttermilk. Okay. Oh, son of a... Jesus Lord. Perfect. <laughs> okay, well anyway, you can see it kind of curdled up there. So it looks kind of funky, but whatevs. All right, I'm gonna add this in. and my sugar and I got my melted butter here and then a little bit of flour and I kind of want to get this mixed up and then just sprinkle the flour in with my stupid left hand that hardly works. Okay, this is very well combined. I don't see any flour bubbles and my crust just came out of the oven. See, look, it didn't puff up at all. And just gonna pour this business in there. 
you can see it's a nice, natural, pretty pink color. Alrighty, Aphrodite. That's a good one, huh? Okay, I'm going to put this back in the oven now. And then I'll see you in about 40 minutes for some pie. Okay, our pie is done. And I need to let that cool. While it's cooling, I'm going to cut up some grapefruit slices and I'm going to show you how to cut them up uh, so that you remove all of the bitter membranes. And we're going to make what's called Supremes, which is spelled exactly the same way as Supremes. So now that we've got that peeled, what we're going to do is just take the knife and cut in between the membranes and then pop out the little segments. And we'll pick the seeds out later. So just keep going around like that, cutting on either side of the membrane. Okay, last one. And then just kind of squeeze it. I'm not gonna use the juice for the pie, but you can drink it later. It's good for you. Now, now that the pie is not like bubbling and like super melty hot and stuff, I'm gonna put it in the fridge so it completely cools and then we'll put our little grapefruits on top. All right, our pie is cool. And just gonna decorate it with the little slices real quick. There, pink grapefruit pie. So I'm not going to take a bite of it because we are going to our friend's housewarming brunch and I'm taking them this pie. But I promise you it's really delicious because I made one on Thursday for my brother and his girlfriend and they came over for dinner and by now the entire pie is gone. So I hope you try it and pink grapefruit pie everybody and make sure you leave any comments um, that you have uh, or any questions that you have in the comments and I will see you guys later. Have a great week.